It really doesn't get any easier than these two projects. You need to drill a series of three quarter inch holes. get glued together like that and we'll sand that flush. was a three-quarter inch diameter pole off a set of World War II signal flags. That's the original varnish. Don't let it be said we don't recycle in this shop. All the pieces have been made, rounded over. The ends were glued onto this one. This one was made with a removable end and I'll show you why here in a little bit. Now we need to cut this wood doll to the correct length. You know, this stuff that was made in World War II was made very well. That dial is still absolutely straight. The finish on it is still good. The ends were rounded over perfectly. And all for a signal flag that would only be used maybe once. Go to the hardware store and try to find a straight three-quarter inch dial today. I have another area in the shop which really isn't usable for anything else, but I still could have the occasion to have to work on this piping. So I'm reluctant to put anything up here permanent that I can't remove. If I put this up here and glued all these pieces in place, and put the doll in there, glued it in place, and then had to work on this piping, then I'd have to break it and get it out of there. So this piece will screw to the wall. This piece will be screwed in place. And the wood doll will have a fender washer on one end so I can take it off. And this is a good location for the towel rack right above my sink. And it makes use of that space that I probably couldn't use for anything else. 
So now I'm going to cut this wood dial to the correct length for both of the tile racks and then varnish all the pieces. I kind of like the bull nose that they have on the one end of this dial. So for one of these tile racks, I'm going to put it on the other end. So that's pretty close. I'll finish that off with the hand sander. The screw is going to be in the end of this wood doll. It doesn't hurt to run it in and out a few times to form the threads. This has been mounted to the wall in two places. The removable end has been mounted with two screws. Wood doll comes in. Put that on the end to dress it up a little bit. Time our thread. The fender washer. This keeps this from coming off. If I ever need to remove this from the walls to work on the pipe, I just remove the fender washer, I can remove the dowel, and then take down the other pieces. Everybody always seems to want dimensions. This back plate is three inches. These rings are two inches in diameter. So this is a one inch radius. So a three quarter inch dowel. This sticks out about five and a half inches away from the wall. More than usual, but that was to clear these pipes. And that's a 13 inch spread. This other one, again, three inches, three quarter inch, two inch rings, one inch radius. This one stands out away from the wall three and a half inches. And the spread is 14 and a half inches. This is a paper tile holder I've made for all of my shops. I like these blue paper tiles for cleaning up oil or scrubbing stuff, but they, they do tend to be a bit expensive for everyday use. Uh, I tend to get these paper tiles that are they're perforated for half sheets, not as much wastage, and more times than not I'm tearing these in half before I use them. There's a wing nut, turn that to one side, this will come out place these paper tiles and yes, that was clear. Get a new, new roll in here. Swing that in place and lock it. Keep those from coming out of there. The center of that dial is three and three quarters off the wall or about three and a half from the inside of this piece of plywood. The spacing between the dials is seven inches. These are two inch diameter rings. You just cut this piece to where it overlaps to keep these from coming out. That's 11 and a half inches on the inside. The overall length on this is 13 inches. And it stands out a total of 7 inches from the back wall. This has proven to be very handy. 